Preston Fleet, a wealthy aviation enthusiast alongside businessman Clifford Graham, began the Photomat Corporation. Beginning as a film kiosk in Florida by a man named Charles Brown in 1965, Fleet and Graham bought out Brown in 1967 to begin their own company. Graham remained president while Fleet was vice president. There were both company-owned photomat locations as well as franchises. Over time and the spread of so many locations, there were lawsuits between both franchises and the company in regards to territories. Photomat sold many different film and photography products such as Kodak. Their relationship with Kodak was on edge due to a lawsuit filed in 1970 after the color and style of their kiosks looked similar to that of Kodak with their gold pyramid-shaped roof. After the lawsuit, Photomat agreed to change their kiosk styles. By 1971, Photomat became a publicly traded company. Also in 1971, Graham was ousted from Photomat for allegedly misusing funds for his own gains, such as purchasing a large yacht as well as an estate in New Mexico formerly owned by Bing Crosby. As Photomat went into the 1980s, they reached their peak and there were over 4,000 locations throughout the United States. Usually positioned within large parking lots near busy areas like strip malls, grocery stores, and department stores, cars were easy to drive up and drop off or pick up film. Offering film as well as film processing and other photography products, the popularity of Photomat picked up due to their overnight film processing. Female employees were known as Photomates and males were known as Photomax. Fleet sold his shares of Photomat in the early 1980s and Konishiroku Photo Industry Limited acquired the company, in time for Minilab industry to explode while Photomat overexposed themselves with so many locations. By 1983, Photomat closed nearly 1,000 kiosks to save money due to the increasing competition. Many stores were now offering mini labs, which were only one hour photo development labs that made Photomat's overnight processing seem slow. By 1988, there were somewhere around 15,000 mini lab locations nationwide, which meant doom for Photomat. By 1990, there were only 800 kiosks remaining throughout the United States. Looking for additional ways to move beyond photography and increase sales, Photomat branched out and became one of the first establishments to offer movies for rent on VHS as well as Beta in the late 1979, early 1980. They offered a catalog for customers to find a movie. The customer called a phone number to request the movie, and by the next day, the customer would be able to pick up the movie at a Photomat kiosk. For what is seen today as a high price of $12 per movie for a five-day rental, they capitalized on the small market for video rentals in what they called Photomat drive through Movies. As video cassettes were at a young age, the first motion picture company to come to an agreement with Photomat was Paramount Pictures. They soon also carried small distributors and independent companies. By March 1980, Walt Disney started to offer their movies through video rental at Photomat. With an increase of cheaper and more convenient video rental stores, going into the 1980s, by 1982, Photomat discontinued the service. As technology of cameras and the introduction of digital photography, the need for film development instantly decreased and Photomat created a website to attempt to move into the new photography age. By offering customers to edit and store their photography, the website closed by late 2009. Photomat was eventually sold to Viewpoint Corporation in 2002. Preston Fleet died of cancer in 1995. Clifford Graham, on the other hand, was accused of fraud for promising he could turn sand into gold during the mid-1980s. He was also charged with mail and wire fraud and tax evasion in 1986. If guilty, he could have been sentenced to 104 years in prison with a fine between $100,000 and $300,000. Graham was never located.